Hi there, I'm Rita, and this is my E450 1999 shuttle bus. It's uh, um, It was a senior citizen uh, shuttle bus down in Delaware, so um, I chose it. Well, it kind of chose me, but anyway, I'll, let me show you inside. So on this side of the bus, it's 16 feet long. On the inside, it's 17 feet long on this side. The ceiling is six feet high. I have two or three inches of insulation up here. I have three inches of insulation in the floor. And uh, this part and below the windows, I have um, insulation, just foam board. I did it that way so I could keep the windows without having to play with the windows, make it really easy. Um, over here, I decided to make this a chalkboard, but it's also magnetic. We are paperless, but um, sometimes we get papers from events that we've got to keep track of or, you know, receipts for parks and stuff like that. So I have my, I have a propane tank in the back and that runs under the bus to, I have a on-demand water heater here and then it continues on and I have a stove, oven, and a heat, and heat, a heater. Um, I have solar on the roof now, 760 watts, and that all funnels into, into here. And um, it was put in by Jonathan Roberts, highly recommend him. And um, while we're here, uh, my, my water tank is actually under this 43 gallon water tank. It goes to a pump and then it goes through this cabinet or this bench and it actually is cut into the floor and then up through here. It's my only water source and um, I don't have a shower. We, we wash our hair in here and actually I can even shower out there if I really needed to. But in two years we never did it. So yeah. we just, we find showers wherever we are. Um, but we, like I said, we can shower, I call it half. Like, so sometimes we just wash our hair, sometimes we just wash our body and then it gets done. Uh, so my toilet is a separate, which is again, just for, you know, there's always a toilet around, but it's actually now it's my garbage can. My, uh, <laughs> so, so we use it as a garbage can in the middle of the night, you know, to go to the bathroom. And then uh, this is my 62, it's winter 62. It's a uh, two-sided, yep. uh, I can control the temperature in each, which is fantastic because, you it's know. Same one I've got. Yeah, I, I, can, like I can move it around. And then, um, well, I, I, bring, I store my drying racks and my table back here, it keeps it from shifting around. Um, I originally was gonna put cushions on the benches, but the bench is actually too high to be comfortable. And then if I put cushions on them, they're even less comfortable. Um, because, like I said, our feet just hang. So actually what it ended up turning into is, <laughs> is actually more like a, a workstation. We put makeup on here or right here or whatever. Sure. We can even eat here if we want to. So um, I also was, didn't have a lot of storage for food. I didn't have a good food system. And since we needed a place to kind of prop our feet up if we are going to sit there then I decided to make this my pantry and it's kind of nice to just it's it's right here in the kitchen it works out great sure um so originally I didn't have any upper cabinets and then I put two two in as I needed them so but even they're <laughs> they're pretty barren um pathetic so and then that and then this is my bathroom more bathroom and I have two pretty good sized drawers down here. And this is my catch-all drawer. And then this is a, just a cabinet, under cabinet. Mm -hmm. There. Um, I store my pans in the oven so that it's a, so I have that to keep stuff out of the way. And then um, I had a water feature in my shuttle bus. It was a nice um, waterfall that they, it came with the bus. So I decided that I didn't want the waterfall anymore. So I took the hatch out and I put in this marine hatch. 
Um, it's kind of, it, it's really nice to get up on the roof, check stuff. Nice. And uh, we were up there watching balloon festivals and you just get a good, good views up there, obviously. So it's me and my three daughters and I did not, I wanted to put it in park and go to bed without having to like put a table down and uh, like I'm just entirely too lazy for that. So this is the only thing that converts in the whole. So we put this out and then I have a bed and my three daughters have a bed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, it automatically latches when we shut so we can't forget to latch it. Yeah. So underneath the bed I kept it open because depending on where we're going and what we're doing and how long we're going to be out it will determine how much and what kind of stuff i'm bringing so i leave that open and just um and stuff our stuff under there and uh this this is a, these are our clothes we just put them in these bags and they act like little drawers under here and i have a 12 foot canopy that when it's folded up will fit under this bed that's by design and then, uh, I, I, this is kind of like my garage. I put all my tools and, and stuff in there. Let's see. So um, I do have hanging clothes and I can just hang them right on here. This, they'll hold like 28 hangers, believe it or not. And I don't even have that many clothes. So, but this is nice. I have, actually counting this door, I have five doors. So, and I have two emergency windows that open up. So this place can turn into a very airy place. Right. Um, it's, uh, I think that's the number one thing is having ventilation. Yeah, my bus is getting a little warm right now today yeah. and it's not that warm out, but. Yeah, well, it's like, yeah, sun comes out, it gets hot and then, it, but anyway, it's, I just think well, like. We drive greenhouses. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Well, um, I do have a curtain system. I, I didn't like, I don't like curtains and I don't even have curtains at home. I know I need them, but I want to get rid of them if, um, if I'm not using them. So what I did is I took some metal strapping, punched holes in it, and I screwed it into the, um, into this board. And then what I do is I bought these insanely strong magnets. Yep. And um, then I can just, you know, do however. But it's also nice too because now I put everything on magnets if I want. If we're gonna watch a movie like on my um, computer and we want like surround sound or like <laughs> we just we can hang these anywhere the the, nice. rate, the yeah. And um, there's a lot of different things like I we just kind of stick them up there and we know, know where they are like we know where our beach blanket is it's always it's always up and then i also put the strapping up here and this is so you said since it's six feet it's perfect for um these are shower curtains sure and we can make all kinds of combinations if it's cold and we want to you know i could put it up here i could put it up here i can i and it and this goes directly here so this then turns into the bathroom if it needs to be all right you know so yeah i think that's about it and i i have the nose obviously to store stuff and i haven't decided how i'm gonna do this yet but a bus is never done right no oh i, I do i said over and over again schoolies are never done they're done ish <laughs> done ish great yeah i have um i have two power like i have usb ports here and i on on the side of the bench all right and then uh and then this is my this was originally for water bottles so the kids wouldn't keep coming in and out but um now it's just like our catch-all it's like a bathroom cabinet and yeah more more magnetic stuff yep um, now do you have any social media or anything if somebody wanted to um no you can look me up read a gardener out on facebook um i do have if i get into uh instagram it's the gardener show and show is kind of a take on the word though like tiny house on wheels mine was my summer home on wheels like that's originally what it was sure and but now my job is remote and the kids weren't in school so it wasn't just our summer home it became 
you know, more than that. So we will leave for a um, month, two months, and um, and then come back for a couple weeks, or you know, some maybe we just go somewhere for like a long weekend, like to the Adirondacks. Right. And um, yeah, yeah, or like you know, we've been now we've been out and about for a month, and we'll head home in about a week or two for yep. a little bit, and then head back out. So. We do have a home base. We can't, with the kids, it's hard to just travel full time. For some reason, they want to go to school. I'm not entirely sure why. Well, I think they want to see friends. Too. Thank you for the tour. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the tour of that latest rig. I will have a new one next Saturday. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified. So make sure you don't miss them. Uh, lots of uh, cool rigs coming up this year. See you down the road, my friends. Stay safe.